Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So today in this video, we are going to install AWS CLI on our Windows machine. So just search the same in your browser and click on the first link from docs.aws.amazon.com and you will see a page like this. Install or update the latest version of AWS CLI. When you scroll down, you will get three options. So you can select the operating system according to your choice, but we are going to select Windows because we are installing in Windows for now. So you will see the update requirements and everything. And now you have two options. You can either install it with the command line interface or you can just click on this link and it will download the installer file directly. So you can just click on this file and it will open the installer automatically. And the other option is with the command prompt. So you are seeing a green link here. So you just need to copy this command. So this one. When you copy this command, you have to open it in command prompt. So when you copy this command, go to your command line interface. So I'm going to open the command line interface now. CMD. And you just need to paste this command here. So when you paste, just press enter. And it will open the installer directly as you can see here. So you can just install it directly with the command line interface. So this is the first option that you can do. It will just open directly the installer file. So I'm going to cancel it now. And now we will see the other file that we have just downloaded. So I'm going to close it. And now we, we are going to the download folder and click on this file. So you can just open the file that you have downloaded after you download and it open this will open the same installers and you can just press the next button and then install and it will ask for the administrator permissions. So if you are enjoying this video and if you are finding it informative, you can hit the like and subscribe button as well. So after it is installed, we will verify that everything is working and everything is installed properly. So here you can see that it is properly installed. So now we are going to open the command prompt again. And here you just need to write a command AWS dash dash version. And then you will see something like this. So if the response is like this, it means everything is properly installed.